Hi everyone. Uh, this time we'll be using StatCrunch to do a hypothesis test with two samples using a t-test. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you need to know first. <clears throat> okay, so with the t-test we have this thing right here, the variance, which is sigma squared. Um, let me open up, uh, so, so we're going to go into stat, t stats, two sample with summary because we have a summary here. Okay, so it's going to be just like doing a z test where we're going to put in all the data. Okay, so let me put in all my data first. So all the ones with the little ones will be my first sample, and all the ones with the little twos will be my second sample. So let me put in all my data real quick. Okay, and just like with the z-test, we want to make sure this matches. So um, the null hypothesis is equals to, so that should be not equal to for the alternative. We'll leave this at zero. Now for the t-test, we have this thing where we pull our variances. Okay, so that's what this thing is right here. So if it's equal to, we want to make sure that this box is checked. Okay. So everything's all set, click on Compute, and there's everything we need. Here's our standardized test statistic, and here is the p-value. Okay, so that's for this problem. Now, the next one here, it's also a t-test, but it, it, you can see down here where it says the uh, variances are not equal to, okay? so. Let me put in this information. Let me go back here. So we would want to put in all the information again. Okay. And I want to match my hypothesis here. Now, because the variances are not equal, I'm going to uncheck this box here. Okay, so that changes the information a little bit. Okay, so really that's all there really is for uh, the t-test. Normally there, there isn't data, um, but if there is, you would do it the same way as if, the, uh, as if we had data. So instead of selecting with summary, we would just pick with data. And you also want to check to see if the variances are equal or not. So this is one way you might see it. Uh, another way you might see it is if they actually wrote it out, like in this problem here, where it says, assume the population variances are not equal. So again, you want to make sure if it's not equal, you want to check this box here. All right, so that's it for the uh, the t-test with two sample. Um, Check out my other videos. I'll also be doing one on paired samples, which should be coming up next. All right, thanks for watching.